close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to watch it all the way in, all the way out. Don't go running off anyplace else, because you want to catch your mind, and the breath is the closest thing you can focus on to your mind. Try to make the breath comfortable so the mind will want to stay. Why do you want to catch the mind? Because the mind is what creates all good things and all bad things in our lives. And the problem is that if you don't keep careful watch over it, it creates some pretty bad things. We tend to think of ourselves as suffering because of what other people do, what other people say. But the Buddha's big insight was that our suffering really comes from within. In other words, if we learn how to train our minds, and regardless of what other people do or what other people say, we can be happy. The mind can have a sense of well-being inside. So first you try to prove that by giving it a good place to stay inside. Stay here with the breath. Let the breath be comfortable. And as you settle down, the mind is more willing to admit things to itself that wouldn't admit before. In other words, you have a greater sense of well-being, and then you can look back at your unskillful actions and recognize, oh yeah, they really were unskillful. It's like tuning your radio. If you're when you're trying to blot out things or you turn out really loud radio noises. But the same spot in you don't have to move the radio, you can change the change the dial, move the dial around, and you got something else. You move the dial again, you got something else again. It depends on what you're focused on. If you focus on something that's really loud, then you can't hear anything else. But if you focus on something that's pretty quiet, then you can hear other things going on. So what we're trying to do here is tune into the Buddha's channel. In other words, the truth is all around us about what's right and what's wrong, what lasts and what doesn't last, what's really worthwhile and what's not. But we don't really listen to it because we have other ideas. We're listening to another channel because there are lots of channels out there. The world has all kinds of views, and we listen to the wrong people's views. We get the wrong ideas about what's really worthwhile, what we should aim for in life. So try to tune into the Buddhist channel. The one that says that your actions are, are the most important things in the world right now, and they're going to have an impact for a long time. And you can't just say, well, I'm going to do what I want and I'm going to get what I want as a result. You have to learn how to admit that some things you want to do are going to get bad results, and some things you don't want to do will actually give good results. And we go for the results, which means you have to put your wants on hold. That's the message of the Buddhist channel, that your actions are really important, so be very careful about what you're doing. That's the message you proclaims, and you look at yourself, and you look at the people all around, and you see it. But we don't see it sometimes, because we have other ideas in mind. It depends on who you're listening to. So try to listen to the Buddhist channel, one that tells you the news that really is for your own long-term welfare and happiness. And the way you tune in is getting the mind really quiet, giving you a sense of well-being right here. So it's more willing to let go of some of its old ideas and listen to what the Buddha has to say, and keep tuned to his channel all day long. Then you'll be doing good things for yourself and good things for other people all day long. You'll be getting rid of your own suffering and help alleviate the suffering of others all day long. And that's an auspicious day.